Hello and welcome back to Why Not Watch. I just got this Megia M2064 today. You can get this same watch um, with a green dial and bezel. You can get it with blue dial and bezel or black dial and bezel. And you can obviously get it like this. Black bezel and white dial. Um, I a quick bit of math in my head just before this video. I think uh, it would be around forty dollars or so US. I am not completely sure. I <laughs> might be wrong. I don't know exactly what it's at at the moment, but uh, that's at least a guess. I paid three hundred and fifty. Uh, DKK and that is including the shipping so I have one media watch already which is a mini focus I have made a separate video on this and all in all I think they're pretty okay watches media is a brand that was funny enough founded in my birth year 1997 and um, it is a Chinese brand, but compared to other brands that I have seen, especially some from China, this actually feels like a real watch. Now, the other, the Mini Focus, as well as this one, comes with a functional chronograph. If I can turn it on there. So that works, and you have your seconds and minutes that is hours on the watch itself and you can of course reset now the bezel is a non-functioning one it still looks cool in my mind but you can't turn the bezel so that's a stock one but i still think the look overall is pretty cool for a very low price there is a couple of small things like when it comes to detail, like you can see there, that is a little off, and so is the number over at number nine there, or nine o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock. Those three are a little off, but very little, and I, yeah, I didn't see it at first glance. I had to look at li a little bit on it before I saw it, so, but uh, they are there, and I, when I know they're there, I know, but it doesn't matter for that price. It's still a pretty cool watch, and I'm going to use it. Uh, but if I compare it to the uh, Mini Focus, where I have actually tried to sit and look at this one, I haven't found anything off-center on this one. Um, so I can only say what I, I, I know from these two media watches so far. I actually have two more on the way. Quite randomly, I don't know about one of them because it's from a store outside of Denmark. I think it was Sweden, and it had some mixed reviews. But it is a certified uh, website and dealer and all that. So that was just to try and see if it's a store that are worth buying from. But I do have one more on the way from a store I know. And I hope that they will deliver tomorrow <laughs> with another media for uh, uh, watch. Now this is, I, I believe, is called the Aviator. I forgot that in the start. Media Aviator, um, steel white. I think they called it on the website. Um, the uh, thickness of the watch is fourteen. Uh, sorry, twelve millimeters. The width. The size of the watch is 44 millimeters. The um, bracelet is. Um, I was just about to say it in Danish. It is stainless steel. <laughs> so, yeah, and I, I quite like the look. I I love this diver style look. Um, 
If you have seen my videos, you have also, also seen some of my other watches. I do love that look, and uh, yeah. But uh, I did not know that the bezel was non-functional, but yeah, it doesn't matter. I still have the chronograph that works. And for the price, again, I don't think this is too bad. And it's actually quite a big uh, bracelet. I can take off the watch I'm wearing now, which is my Loris VD57-X114. I haven't fitted it to my wrist yet, so it's way too big. But I still think it looks quite good. So yeah, um, quality wise I don't really know what to say, but my own opinion is that it is a cheap watch. I don't mind that it's a Chinese watch because this, from what I can feel and see, they do what they're supposed to do, the chronographs work, it tells time and date. They feel like there is some real watch over it and not just some something bought on wish so I don't mind that the bezel doesn't work it would have been cool if it worked as well but hey it gives a nice look to it and you still have the rest that works so if you're looking for a, a watch that can look good and are cheap this is something you can try and look at and see if you can find something that works for you. So yeah. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy this watch when I have fitted it to my wrist. Thanks for watching and have a great day.